Let's say I've created a quiz that I want to use as inline questions. The first thing I would do is open this quiz from my library and then click on the ellipsis in the bottom left. From there, I can pull the embed code by clicking on embed as inline questions and copy that code accordingly. Then I would go into the lesson that I want to include that in, find the place in here where I want to include it, let's say here, and in this case, I'm going to go ahead and click the insert edit media option. Then I'm going to paste that embed code that I had, and I can preview this, seeing that I have three questions that are going to be placed as inline questions in this particular lesson. Go ahead and insert that in there. I can always click on it, check on that media to make sure I know exactly what's there. And when I'm done, I can keep this as a draft or finalize it. Once I've included those questions from that quiz as inline questions, they'll start showing up in the lesson. In this case, I added them right after this first interactive, and you can see these three questions right here so a student can try them and check their work as they go. Now in this case, you'll see that you may actually want to add feedback directly to any questions you include as inline questions, because in that case, a student that's struggling might need some more help as they work their way through. So here we can see down here, if I click on this and I click check it, they get some feedback and that helps them progress through those inline questions because they need to successfully complete each one in order to move on. Remember that these are learning tools and you don't get a score when you include quiz questions within a lesson.